Hello, my name is Ellis. Welcome to the Grinwee Gaming Channel, your ultimate magic channel here on YouTube. Yesterday I might have mentioned that M19 is perhaps my favorite set ever printed. One of my favorite cards in my favorite set is Death Baron. We're going to build a deck around him today. Okay, so he's a 3-drop 2-2 two -two zombie wizard with the ability, and this is an awesome ability, skeletons you control and other zombies you control, so not himself, get plus 1-1 one, one and have Death Touch. Death Touch, any amount of damage a source with Death Touch deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. So you just have to hit them for one and they die. It's so fun. You can trade super efficiently. All of our little drops, once they are buffed up with this Death Touch, we can trade them with Carnage Tyrant. You know, reassembling skeleton, two drop one one, buy Carny T. So, let's talk about this deck, how it works. We run a lot of one and two drops, a couple three drops, fewer four drops. Actually, there's more 4-drops than 3-drops, but you know what I mean. And just a, just a couple 5-drops. Let's talk about the 5-drops first. Open the Graves. 5-mana enchantment. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. We can abuse the mess out of this, alright? How do we do it? Simple. We run creatures like Undercity Necrolisk. This is perhaps our most efficient way to combo. Sacrifice another creature, put a 1-1 counter on him, it gains Menace. Uh, you can only activate this ability like a sorcery. Also, we run Costly Plunder, sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. If We might as well get something out of our sacrificing, right? Yeah, makes sense to me. Uh, we run Vicious Offering, some removal. If you sacrifice a creature, you can take out a mid-range spell, or a mid-range creature, rather. Cry the Carnarium. This can board wipe us, but if we have opened the graves out, we're going to replenish pretty much everything we lost. And the big champion of our open the graves combo here is reassembling skeleton. You can sack him, bring him back, sack him, bring him back, sack him, bring him back. Just making Necrolis grow and grow turn by turn. It's so fun. Normally, I don't like reassembling skeleton. I think, uh, Gutter Bones is way better. I'd be running Gutter Bones if I had four of them. I'd, I'd be running them. But I don't, so I run two reassembling skeletons. We also have some reanimation to bring back things from the graveyard, just in case our Death Barons get hit with something, like removal. Uh, we run Bone Dragon. He takes care of himself, basically. He's just a 5-4 flyer. Uh, he, can, he can come back from the battlefield, from the graveyard to the battlefield, sorry. Uh, for five mana, and you exile seven other cards. So that exiling seven other cards is actually pretty painful for our deck. But he's, you know, he's a five four flyer. He's kind of worth it. Uh, let's talk about Liliana real quick. Her plus one loyalty counter ability puts the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. If one's a zombie, you gain two. Your opponent loses two life. This is, you know, not the greatest ability in the game for sure. But it's it's nice. Because uh, it works with our ultimate, which is why we run her. Target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of zombies you control. This goes nicely with uh, with Open the Graves and her ultimate ability, which is pretty cool. You may cast zombie cards from your graveyard this turn. Let's just bring back our Death Barons if we get a Bone Skeleton or Bone Dragon into <laughs> Bone Skeleton, uh, Bone Dragon into the graveyard. We can bring them back. We can bring back our Grave Diggers, which are one of the other cards we use to reanimate the dead. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, we have Graveyard Marshal to make some more zombies. And Priest of the Forgotten Gods to sacrifice cards. Then we run Plague White. It's a good zombie. I just have one of them, uh, so I just run one of them. We run Pestilent Spirit, not a zombie or skeleton, so it doesn't really fit the deck. But it's a good card, 3-2 minus death touch. We don't even use his secondary ability. But this card's so good, we'll probably be seeing some more of him on this channel soon. Noxian Grudian? Gr Gr Grudian? Not sure. Just a 2-2 two -two death touch. Hired Poisoner, 1-1 one -one death touch. And Orzhov Enforcer, 1-2 death touch afterlife. One very good card. Barrier Bones. Why Barrier Bones? Because a 1-4 death touch that lets you surveil one is a very, very good magic card. 
we have some removal, like I mentioned before, fungal infections for the Elvish Mystics, Goblin Instigators, uh, Moment of Craving for Mono Red, we get some life back, it's great. We talked about Vicious Offering already. Uh, Blade Brand, just a one-off of two-drop, target creature gains Death Touch. If we don't have Death Burn out yet, this card will take care of one of their threatening creatures, and we get to draw a card, so maybe we'll draw into that Baron. 21 lands, because we're running pretty aggressive here. Uh, it, you get some fast wins, your board goes pretty wide, you overwhelm them with zombies. If you can combo, it's really fun. So that's why I like this deck. The combos are great. The creatures are great. Death Touch is so fun. Mono Black is one of my favorite archetypes in Magic. I hope you enjoy the upcoming games. I hope you're having a great Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, go Rams, <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. We are currently Silver Tier 2, trying to climb still with our Mono Black Zombie Skeleton Death Baron deck. It's pretty aggro, it's pretty fun. Having a good time playing it so far. Sweet, we got Death Baron, we got two zombies, three zombies. We're, well, Skeleton and two zombies. You know what I mean, this is a good hand, we're gonna keep and win this game. Let's go. Opponent goes first, I like going second, I'm sure you know that by now. If you don't know, most people say going first is definitely an advantage. I prefer the card draw, having a card advantage. Uh, I mentioned it yes in yesterday's video. I break magic down into three categories when it comes to deciding who's winning. Uh, card advantage, board control, and life total. So if you have two out of the three, things are going pretty good for you. Pretty well, I'm sorry. So we'll turn two reassembling skeleton straight into the death baron. We hope he doesn't play a black mana right here. Okay, we're worried about Golgari. If it's mono green, it could be an elf deck. And, uh, that doesn't sound so bad. Okay. Let's see here before we decide what, what deck it is. I don't think it's a gate deck. I'd be surprised if it was at this point. Could be dinosaurs. Okay, I know I said we were going to Death Baron, but I think we're going to Diagraph Ghoul and Graveyard Marshal instead. If we draw another land, we'll probably play the Skeleton Archer. That's why we're not playing blue today, Rhythm of the Wilds. Let's just go face. We've got the Gravedigger to protect our get our uh, our Death Baron. That feels pretty good. A Demir Death Baron deck would be something worth trying. I would I would suggest that to you. Get some counter spells to protect him because he's only three mana. So Devious Cover Up would work great. Okay, so he's got a shock. I think the best thing to draw right now would be another Death Baron. Vicious Offering. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, if we play the Death Baron, he can't block efficiently at all. So, that's the play. And we really put the pressure on here. Like I said, he has no favorable trades. And he goes down to one. So he has to play four creatures or, you know, make up a difference of four in his board control state. Yeah, that's not going to cut it, buddy.
don't think there are any three mana plays he can make here. We don't need Death Baron anymore, honestly. We just have board control. Okay. He's just wasting our time now. There we go. Aggro, Death Baron. Got a big swing in with it. Feels good. Well, let's, you know what? Oh wait, I did that wrong. You kick, target the creature, then the, z the creature you sacrifice. There we go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed game one. Okay. We'll take this hand. Two Grave Diggers isn't great right now, but it could be good down the road. We can Vicious Offering our reassembling, reassembling Skeleton. That's pretty cool interaction. So we get the Skeleton back. Sorry this video is later than they normally are. I, uh, Got distracted today by the Super Bowl, and my brother wanted to play some magic, so I had to do that. It was fun. Okay, flying's tough. What are you thinking about here, buddy? You gonna attack? You have one white mana. <coughs> Not sure if there's much you can do, really. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. I think we Diagraph Ghoul. And we might Vicious Offering. Holy cow, our opponent's taking forever. Click the orange button, buddy, please. Thank you very much. No need to be impatient, I guess. I suppose we can keep a level head. Crucial in this game of magic. We'll go ahead and attack, because we're probably going to sack some uh, skeleton next turn. We just take the one here. If he attacks, yeah, I didn't think he would. Now we might not even have to kick Vicious Offering. If you kick it, uh, that, that means, in case you didn't know, you have to pay an additional cost. In this case, it would be sacrificing your creature, but a lot of times, kickers are mana costs. So... Let's attack first. Holy cow. He could have settled the wreckage here, which would be unfortunate. We can kind of play around it a little bit with Vicious Offering, but if he does have it, it hurts.
That's fine by me. And we got the two damage in like we wanted to, and we burned a spell of his. Target creature gets plus 2-2 two, two until end of turn. You gain one life for each attacking creature you control. Okay, so he didn't even get maximum value out of that card. Wow. Sleeping me. Really? You really want to sleep me now? Alright. Whoops. Okay, let's save that for next turn. I don't want to play the Death Baron now, because <clears throat> it would be my only blocker, and if he had another spell, another combat trick, basically, and, and by that I mean something he, some instant speed he casts during combat that buffs his creatures or something. Okay, double sleep. That's better. That's going to be tough for him, though. Does he have a third sleep? We'll see. Who knows? Hello, Bone Dragon. You beautiful card. Oh, and that'll shut down most of his flyers, I believe. Even Wind Mage is a two-two; it'll be a three-three. So we'd have to cast two instants of sorceries for it. Oh, actually, just one to trade with the Bone Dragon. You can see my opponent hovering over Bone Dragon right now, so that makes me feel like he has some sort of bounce or removal spell here. There was the removal. Um, I think we'll just throw out Skeleton Archer again. Get another one damage off. He knows I have these two cards, so let's go ahead and put them over to the right. So we can keep track of that. Tetsuko. Six mana. That's a pretty good number. Sort of. Gonna threaten lethal. <laughs> Next turn, if we play the Death Baron, we pretty much have it. He probably has settled the wreckage here, though, so we have to play around that for sure. We don't want our Bone Dragon getting exiled. That would be unfortunate, to say the least. Scorpion. Four or five is not really a problem since we have Death Baron in our hand. Remember the one one counter will apply to Bone Dragon. Great card, Death Baron. And our opponent is tapped. So we don't quite strike uh you know what? I think we might have lethal here. Well, let's see, we've got seven mana. Four and three. I'm counting three here, four right here. We can play the reassembling skeleton. Vicious offering with a kicker. Play a death baron. And swing with everything. Bone dragon. We got one, one, what is it, a five drop? One five drop creeper, a <laughs> creeper, <laughs> one five drop creature in this deck. And it definitely won us the game there, pulling its weight alongside Death Baron and reassembling Skeleton and Vicious Offering. Mr. Zamo. Okay, three swamps. 
two two drops, a three drop, a four drop. That's pretty good. We'll take that hand. Take that hand to the bank. Not really. Just gonna use it, I guess. Fungal infection. That's a pretty good draw. White black. Looks like some sort of life gain shenanigans. Cry of the Carnarium, not bad. Uh, I guess we see if he takes the trade first. He won't. Then we play the 2 2 death touch. Moment of Craving would be a nice draw. We could wipe. Wiping's not bad here. I, well, I already invested in the Noxious Grodian. Grodgen? 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 That's a weird... Weird word there. Grodian. Grodgen. I'm not sure. Uh... Definitely want to do that. Alright, we can Cry of the Carnarium, Gravedigger, the Noxious. That feels pretty good. We have a Fungal Infection. Oh, we can't because it's exiled. That's right. Whoops. Oh well. Okay, so we're up against a Vampire deck. These Fungals aren't going to do much unless he has Child of Night. Flying is going to be a problem also. Our opponent's land screwed. It's unfortunate for him. Lucky for us. We can double fungal a blood, a blood letter. Legion's Landing. Do we double fungal that? I think that's all. Yeah, I think we do. Oh, that's a pretty good draw right there. Woo! Ten damage feels good. I don't think he drew a land. Mortify! Come on! That's okay. <coughs> this one's uh, pretty much sealed away. <laughs> Magic card joke of the day. Can we deal six somehow? Regardless, I think this is what we do. It's just offering looks pretty good here. I think we just attack with everything. We definitely have board control here. That'll do it. Another Death Baron win. Pretty good game. I hope you enjoyed those games with our mono black deck. It's time for some pack openings. Woo! Favorite part of the video for me. We've got three Ravnica Allegiance packs today. Okay, Azorius Skyguard. 
Open the Gates. That's a pretty good card, actually. Uh, wild card, I'll take that. Two wild cards. And... Oh, yes! I got another Pestilent Spirit. So now I have two of those. Uh, wink, wink, there's going to be a Pestilent Spirit deck coming up on my channel in the coming days. Let's go to the next pack. Root Snare. Okay, Stony Strength. Quench. Sharkto Crab. I got four of those, I think. I'm pretty happy with this pack, too. Clan Guild Mage. Kind of cool. Let's see what the rare is. Incubation Druid. Solid card. These packs are great. One more, one more. Let's see what we got here. Imperious Oligarch. Biogenic Upgrade. Distribute three 1-1 one -one counters among one, two, or three target creatures, then double the number of 1-1 one -one counters on those creatures. That could go good with that, uh, that weird frog lizard card. Incubation. I run Incubation in one of my decks that you'll be seeing coming up on my channel soon. Uh, tomorrow, actually, I believe. So, it's gonna be another Simic deck like our Merfolks, but it's a lot different, I promise you that. Uh, lastly, our last card of the video, and the last card of the night, is re Repudiate? Re rep repudiate? Repudiate? It's probably repudiate. I've never seen that word before. And replicate. That's a pretty fun card. Counter target activated or triggered ability. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. That shuts down Siren Storm Mancer or whatever it's called, that Siren Pirate Wizard. Uh, and we got Replicate, which creates a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking for this card? I was going to do an Act of Treason deck. It might be four colors now. So, more stuff for you to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, subscribe, leave a comment below. Have a great night. I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl.